So I will be continuing in this video uh, to read the words of our Lord and the prophecies of the acts of God for all mankind given to an anonymous mystic in 1988. Uh, and the second page begins. A warning for all mankind. The Lord God says, My children, I desire not to punish you, but to save you from eternal death. You have forgotten who you are, not body alone and blood, but children of God, spirits the same as I. For a brief time only have you put on a body which will not endure and which quickly will crumble into dust. Why do you care so much about it? Why do you forget who you are? You nurture, feed, and gratify that which is short-lived, but the eternally living soul you expose to a disastrous fate, preparing her for eternal death in despair. The misery of the body is nothing in comparison with the tragedy of a wasted life. The gift of my love. I gave you complete freedom, and I will never take that gift from you. I am God of the free. I gave you conscience and reason, which are capable of discerning good and evil. What have you done with them? Where is your conscience? Where is your reason? I gave you freedom so that you could choose what your conscience dictates, and I gave you reason to direct your every step. My children, what have you done with my gifts? Where are they? I am your father. I gave you life and freedom of choice so that you could enter my house with honor, not as blindly obedient slaves, but as true sons who understand the father and return to him with love, thankful for everything that I gave you. You have nothing that is your own, not even your life. I called you not to an unhappy existence, but to never-ending joy with me. In my house, I desire to bring you the pleasure of my happiness, to give you to drink, to satiate you with my presence. But you reject my promises in favor of the passing pleasures of your blind hearts. You murder your brothers. The stronger among you fatten yourselves on the misery of the weak exploiting them and leaving them in hunger, arousing evil in them, and turning them away from me. You murder their innocent souls, and now you are advancing toward the destruction of all my creation on the earth. You mutually desire to annihilate one another. You hate your brothers and secretly prepare plans for destroying each other. Did I not create you to be brothers to one another and to mutually love one another? My only son I sent to turn you away from evil, but you crucified the love which descended onto earth to bestow my gifts upon the world. And from that time forward, you crucify my servants and all who bring you good. Your conscience has grown mute, your reason has grown dim, and your will tends toward evil. What have you done to the earth that the whole earth is moaning and weeping? My children, my poor blind children, everything that is weak and defenseless, that is gentle, innocent, and pure, that is spent with tears, seeks refuge in me. How long must it continue to suffer? I am the father of all mankind. My justice and mercy incline toward the tears of the innocent and the weak, whom you have made most unfortunate. They have the right to a dignified human life, as have the unborn children, all of the future generations. I am the giver of life, not you. Why do you take it away? I gave you my commandments. My son confirmed them with his life, death, and resurrection. You know them. Therefore, I will demand an accounting from those of you who have been given my commandments. For the sake of profit, power, wealth, and fame, you have rejected my commandments. I will take my blessings from you 
and give it to the poor, who will glorify me in their suffering. They will complete my work. They will become my people and will lead all the nations of the world to me. Your house will lay waste. Your riches will turn to ashes. Your wealth and power will slide from your hands, and your fame will become the infamy to the ends of the earth. I am the defender of the sick and of the oppressed. They will receive salvation from me, but you, my blind children, I will treat with bitter medicines. If the only hope for your salvation is medicine fatal to the body, I will not hesitate. Your bodies will pass away regardless, but you, my children, who have lost your way in the abundance of goods that you took from others, can be healed for eternal life only through hunger, fear, and the terror of death. Therefore do not fear what death brings. Fear only the judgment of God and prepare for eternal life. I do not condemn you. Like the father of the prodigal son, I wait for you and desire to have you in my house. My son's arms are wide open. He redeemed you with his blood. Remember my love and seek refuge in me. If death threatens you, it will be death of the body only. After death, I await you, your merciful and good father. Have sorrow for your sins and have faith with all your heart and all your strength that I am good, that I love you, that I will gather you up like sheep, and that you will be with me for eternity. I am your light, your love, and your life.